Hey guys, Coop here. Let's make a bracelet. Now what you guys see here, this is the double wide Cobra slash Solomon bar. The, there's plenty of videos on how to make these in one color, two color, but I haven't had, seen very many done with three colors, so I decided to uh, make one in the American flag style because we got the 4th of July coming up soon. So if you guys will bear with me and uh, just give me a few minutes, We'll get started. Okay, guys, let's get started. I've already got my buckles and everything set up on my jig. Got my cow's hitches down here. I spliced my uh, blue and white, red and white together. I ran them up, as you can see, from the bottom. Blue in the middle, white and red on the outsides. Came down through the top of my buckle. So to start this off, let's uh, get started. Basically, the red is what we're going to start with first. We're going to loop over just like we do an ordinary Solomon bar. Then we're going to bring the blue over the red, under the core, out the hole on the other side. Just like we do on every Solomon bar Cobra knot. Should look just like that. Now we're going to pull down. Got our knot like this. Just pull it up. Pull down, pull up. Now we'll start on the other side, do the same thing. Except this time, we're going to take white across the core, blue over the white, under the core, out the hole on the other side. Should look just like that. And once again, we're going to pull down our cord, pull it all tight, and tighten her down. Work your knots up where everything should be. And that's how we're going to start it. First we we're going to put the red over and the white going to go over as well just like before we're going to lead with the red take the blue over the red under the core through the hole red over the core blue under through the middle out the other side that completes your first not on that side. Now we're going to do the same thing with the white. Blue over, under, through the hole. Should look just like that. Pull it down tight. Once again, white over, blue over the white, through the middle, out the hole on the other side. Should look just like that. Pull her down tight. Now, once again, our red's crossing over and our white's crossing over. But this time, we're going to pull the white over across the top. Start with the red, over under through the hole pull tight over through the middle under through the hole now go for the white over under through the hole each pass before you cross over is going to have two knots over under through the hole because when you start the next run, you always want the blue on the outside. All right, guys, I think you got the hang of it. We'll do one more here. Now that we're back to this side, we're going to take the red. It's going to go over. Doesn't matter which side you start with. 
we're going to take the red, go over it with the blue, under the core, through the middle, out the other side. One more, over, under, through the hole. Now to start with the white, over, under, through the hole, just like so. Pull it down tight, over, under, through the hole. Alright guys, I think you got the hang of it. We'll pick back up closer to the end and finish this puppy off. Okay guys, now that we're to the end, I went ahead and put blue fit or put fids on my blue cord. Don't need it on the white and the uh, red. We're going to finish it up. Like I said before, you got your white, so you're going to take your blue over to white. Just like so. And then you're going to come up through the middle. If you can do this without fids or a pair of pliers, it's perfectly fine. I just use fids. It's a little easier for me to get my fat fingers in there. And we do one more. Go over. Through the hole. Out the other side. And we pull her down as tight as we can. Finish the red off by going over, up through the middle. Through the hole. Should look just like that. Pull it down tight. And we do one last one. Take the blue over. Go down through the hole. Come out the other side. Like I said, you don't have to use fids. It's just easier for me to get my fat fingers in there. That's what it should look like. And we pull it down tight. Alright guys and gals, that's how you make it. Now we'll show you how we finish it up here in just a second. If you'll hold on, let me grab my scissors and my lighter. Okay guys, I got my scissors and my lighter, so I'm going to pull the bracelet off the jig. And that's the finished product. That's the back side. And we're going to take the blues, we're going to cut them as close as we can. And we're going to lightly burn them. Get my eyeballs on here. You want just enough to where you can push it down and lock it with your finger, but it doesn't turn it black. And we try this side. Same thing. It's just hot enough to push it down with your finger. That'll lock it into that knot. Now, these here, what I'm going to do with the white and the red is I'm going to put my fids on. Okay, guys, now that I've got my fids on my cord, I'm going to take the red and white and go down through the middle. We'll finish up on the back side of the bracelet. I just think it makes a little bit cleaner look. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this thing and run it through a couple of these little uh, knots. Just like that. And right here. Anytime I can tuck something as opposed to uh, having to melt it, I would rather tuck it instead of melting it because then you have, you can uh, leave a frayed end and not have to worry so much about uh, the, the melted stuff 
sticking, you know, poking somebody's skin. So once we got that done, we're just going to cut them as close as we can. And just let that fray. It's not going to come out. It's going to stay in there. It's already locked up here. So everything will be fine. And there you go. You have one wide, double wide Solomon bar bracelet in the American flag colors. All right, guys and gals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new today. You guys all know we've got the Facebook page up and going along with all of our other social media sites, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Mr. Coop's Like page, Swampville Craftables, all that good stuff. All the links for that will be down below. You guys go over and check us out on one of them, all of them, or none of them. It's entirely up to you. And with all that being said, my friends, like, comment, and share down below. And Mr. Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.